We welcome you once again to Christopher's Kitchen with Christopher Lampo, and today we take it over New Orleans way with a bit of a Cajun flair on Christopher's Kitchen. Yeah, I thought if um, if you're not in the mood for the traditional stuffing and turkey, this year we've got something to jazz it up a little bit. Uh, my cousin created uh, for us one Christmas a uh, Cajun crawfish and andouille sausage stuffing that I think goes great. We've done it a couple times at our house. We always make both, the traditional and this Cajun stuffing. It's great. And a little bit spicy. And something a little bit unique about this is a different kind of vegetable you're going to introduce us to. Yeah, I think, I'm not sure how many people have seen this before. It was certainly new to me when I saw it. Uh, the Hispanic community, however, it would not be unfamiliar with this product. They call this a chayote squash. Uh, the Cajuns call this a vegetable pear. And I'll just show you how to prepare that. We're going to use this in the recipe today. What you want to do is you want to, you want to peel this all the way around. And this actually has a pit in it. I'm going to cut that in half, and then in half again. And then you just want to trim that little, that little seed out just like that. Then we'll just cut this down like this. Just give that a sort of a medium dice. I also want to show you a quick way to cut a green pepper. A lot of people cut around this way and remove the seeds. I just want to show you, I'm just going to take this knife and just roll the pepper around like this so it removes the seeds and everything. And then you're ready to cut. You're ready to cut like, like this. So you don't have to worry about the core and everything. And I also use that, that little end bit also to, to dice up. And that's why we dice a green pepper very quickly. Just want to uh, go over some of them. There is a lot of ingredients in this dish, but it's worth it. There's a little bit of prep time involved, but it's uh, fantastic. Uh, not any more than a traditional stuffing. Uh, we have crawfish. We have something called andouille sausage. Uh, this is a spicy Cajun pork and beef sausage. We have uh, green onions, celery, onions, and green pepper. Uh, we also have some chopped parsley. Uh, we have, of course, the chayote squash. Some of the spices that we're using today are an Old Bay seasoning, cayenne pepper, fresh chopped garlic, Worcestershire sauce, salt and pepper, and we also have some white wine in this. And then we have a cornbread and, um, and white bread stuffing mix without the seasoning packet, just cornbread and stuffing mix. All right, Mike, we're going to start with about, uh, about three quarters of a cup of butter. And we're going to start with the, uh, what the Cajuns call the Holy Trinity. What they use is onions, green peppers, and celery. I also use green, uh, green onions. We're going to add everything in here together, the sausage. Get that going. Now, a lot of times I'll use red pepper also for just to give a little extra color, and we'll just see how this comes out today. Now, from the size of the pot and the ingredients here, how many are you wanting to feed with this particular batch? Well, I'm actually using a larger uh, pan than is actually necessary. Um, you can use this in a much smaller pan. This, this recipe feeds about 10 people. Should. In my house, about four. That's it. We're going to add our spices now. Cayenne pepper is oil soluble, which means it releases most of its flavor in fat rather than in water. So we want to add that cayenne pepper in there early so we get the maximum flavor and the maximum heat. I'm going to go ahead and add our Old Bay seasoning to this also. Our vegetables are tender now, and uh, our onions are very tender, celery is tender. I'm going to go ahead and add our, our crawfish. Now, if you don't want to use crawfish, you can use shrimp. Some people use oysters. Uh, you can leave seafood out altogether and add, add more sausage or something else that you like. So I'm going to add this uh, chayote squash. You can see that's about four cups there. Don't forget, you can check the recipe on the website. And this is now becoming our base. All right, now what are you watching for with the squash you just added to that? I'm really just heating it up because uh, I boiled it ahead of time to make sure it's cooked. I just want it to absorb some of these great Cajun flavors and some of that uh, sausage flavor. Give it a lot of flavor. I'm going to go ahead and add uh, some of our parsley now also. And what does that do for flavor? Never really understood the role yeah. of parsley in some dishes. I add parsley in this dish for flavor more than anything. Parsley adds a nice kind of a, a sweet, crisp, uh, metal flavor. And, and amongst all this heat, it really adds some freshness to it. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and add our white wine. And we're going to add, add some Tabasco here also. Okay. I'm going to let that wine cook down just a little bit, and then we'll be ready to add our breadcrumbs. Okay, Mike, now we're going to, uh, you can see that this is is uh, very wet. We, we want a moist dressing. But I'm it smells go, wonderful, too. Good. I'm going to go ahead really and does. add the uh, cornbread stuffing mix. And I also have some chicken stock standing by to make sure that this is, is really moist. As you can see, it is dry right now. Mike, I do want to add enough chicken stock to make sure that this is uh, nice and moist when we put it in the oven. So I've got some warm chicken stock standing by here. 
and you can see that this is uh, how it's clumping together a little bit. That's just right. Now I have a buttered uh, sort of a casserole dish here. I like the, the stuffing to get a little bit crunchy on top and on the sides. Now you notice I'm not stuffing this into a, a chicken anymore. You know, we really don't do that anymore. Some people still do. It adds great flavor to the stuffing when you actually stuff it into a turkey or a chicken. Uh, but just for safety reasons, commercially, if I was doing this at home, I might do it. But really to be safe so that you get a good internal temperature on your turkey, you want to cook your stuffing separate from okay. your poultry item. So I'm going to pop this in the oven about 350 degrees. Let it, and it's already warm. Everything is cooking in. I just want to get it nice and golden brown on top and crunchy on the sides. Okay. All right, Mike, now instead of using that turkey today, I've got a nice roast chicken for us here. This is also great with, uh, with roast chicken. Our stuffing is done. It's a little bit brown on top, crunchy around the sides. Gonna, I mean, I mean I'm just showing you just for one serving, you know, going to put a nice, healthy portion of that stuffing. Going to take this roasted chicken. If you had a little sauce around there, that'd be fantastic. Whatever your favorite gravy is, uh, some sort of even Cajun style gravy would be fantastic. All right, Mike, now I want you to taste that. I know you're a little bit, okay. you're a little bit squeamish about that squash in there, but it really is a, a nice flavor. It's a little bit twist on traditional turkey and dressing. Right. Got crawfish in there. Wow. It's an awesome combination. And it really will jazz up your turkey because we need to do everything we can to give that turkey flavor. And certainly if you'd like to have a recipe for this, you can find it on the website at kbtx.com. Just click on the Christopher's Kitchen and uh, we're going to continue with our series of holiday cooking, how to spruce up those family meals for the holidays. That's it for this edition for our Christopher Lampo at Christopher's Kitchen. I'm Mike Wright.